This is the Canadian Auto Show, but the reality is most cars on display here are global, made up of parts from around the world, even if they are assembled in Canada. It's made right here in Oakville, Ontario. And, uh, the CEO of really Ford Canada says he's proud of the Canadian manufacturing, but also of how his company embraces free trade. So when President Trump made it clear this week that in his anti-trade crusade, Canada isn't a big target, there was a sigh of relief. We have a very outstanding trade relationship with Canada. We'll be tweaking it. We'll be doing certain things that are going to benefit both of our countries. Uh, it's a much less severe situation than what's taken place on the southern border. I think that's very good news that we're hearing that it's really just a tweaking. Ford already made concessions to satisfy some of Trump's concerns about Mexico. It canceled plans to open a third manufacturing plant there. You know, the question that I get a lot is, you know, is this going to mean something here in Canada? And, and our footprint here in Canada is very strong. And for now, Ford plans to keep it that way. A car rolls off the Canadian assembly line roughly every roughly every 14 seconds. Another boost of confidence for the industry came from the Canadian government this week in the form of additional investment in the sector. I am pleased to announce that the government of Canada is investing in two companies that are making an impact on automotive innovation, Asterix and G Batteries Energy Canada. For us, the relationship between Canada and us, I mean, it's not going to change. When many have worried about the impact of Trump's protectionist plans, the head of the national union that represents Canadian auto workers sees big potential in making changes to NAFTA. This is a golden opportunity. So there has to be some real modifications that talks about rules of origin, that talks about um, you know, depending on the amount of cars that you buy, there's going to be X amount of jobs tied into it. The reality, though, is that tweaks could mean just about anything. So while the auto industry enjoys this moment of relative calm, Trump's next tweet or unscripted exchange could quickly change that. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto.